Hey, what's going on? It's Joe Rock, and here we are backstage with Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard. So, it's today in Rock, April 20th, 1992, your first official show with Def Leppard. It was actually the Freddie Mercury Tribute Concert. So what was that like for that to be your introduction? Uh, it was big in, in every way. And it wasn't actually my first show with Leopard. It was the first official one. Right. Where, you know, we sort of announced the world, but I think it was two or three nights before we'd uh, done a club show at a place called McGonagall's in, in Dublin, which is where I used to play with my first band, Sweet Savage, back in the late 70s and very early 80s. Um, so anyway, the, the Freddie Mercury thing was just, it was epic. I mean, we were only playing, I think, three or four songs or something like that. And um, everyone was there, like Elton was there and Cindy Crawford, the supermodel. Like everyone, like back, backstage, you, you were falling over celebrities. Yeah. I mean, it was just wall to wall celebs, you know, and, um, and so many great musical acts. And, you know, but then when we went on stage, I mean, it, it was over in an instant. I mean, it just happened so quick. And I remember, the thing I remember about it more than anything else was being on stage. And I, I was comfortable because I'd, I'd been with Dio, I'd been with Whitesnake, I'd been used to doing big, big shows before, so I wasn't intimidated by that. And in fact, I personally find big shows like that a lot easier to do. It's mm -hmm. less intimidating to me because the audience is so far away. You know they're there, I and mean, you know there's like 80,000 people there, and there's television cameras and whatnot, but um, I find it much more intimidating to do club shows like the one we're going to do tonight with last night, <laughs> where, where the audience is like yeah. from, you know, people are like right there, you see the white stars, you know that they're like watching every note you're playing. That that kind of intimidates me a lot, but, um, but they're both really good experiences, just very different. But the, the thing I remember more than anything else about the Freddie Mercury show, was I remember being on stage and after playing a couple of songs I remember thinking to myself it's the first time ever ever that Def Leppard and the four guys in the band have ever been on stage with like Steve Clark you know and I just I had like a, a, a moment thinking about that and I just look over and I'm looking at them and, and I was wondering what must they be thinking? I mean, I was just like, what to do? <laughs> you know, it's a lovely, a lovely spring day in London, you know, and this is great. And, uh, and then it's just like one of those moments. I thought, oh, wow, you know, it's the first time ever in, in this sort of a situation with like Steve. And, uh, but, you know, we, we handled it pretty well. We, we had a little technical glitch with Rick's drum kit. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Uh, I don't remember exactly what went wrong, but I remember something went off and there was there was a moment of panic, you could sense, but well, other than that, it was a great show, and then Brian May got up with us yeah. and did uh, Now I'm Here, which was just epic, I mean, he's, he's such a great friend of the band, you know, and uh, it was just lovely to play with him. Yeah. Well, there you go, and that's today in Rock April 20th. Remember, if you'd like to leave a comment, they're always welcome. You can always click like if you like it. You can share this here on Facebook, too. I'm Joe Rock. Rock on Rock.